welcome back everybody to another episode of workers and resources soviet republic uh this is episode i believe number four or five <laughs> it's it's one of the two um this is actually my first time doing a back-to-back -back recording uh so i'm kind of excited for it kind of not because it for me at least it takes a lot of my energy to actually put out these episodes um because I'm not, I'm not the best, um, right? Needless to say, I'm not. I'm not currently the best at uh, providing a narrative, and uh, when I do, um, it feels like I'm constantly talking, right? So it was always good to have that kind of break on my vocals. But I wanted to see how it would be to do a back-to-back -back recording, uh, to maybe put myself uh, a little bit ahead of the schedule, but still be able to interact with everybody. So that's what brings us here today for another episode. Um, one thing I did want to check before we get underway is I see that um, we we are kind of losing money quickly and it okay it's just it's just based off that we're bringing in a bunch of electronics we're just five thousand dollars I mean yeah okay granted that's gonna happen that's fine because uh, we, we do need to get this filled up and this requires 10 tons so he's gonna make a couple trips that's uh, gonna be kind of costly to us but uh, again I'm not I'm not too worried I don't know. I kind of wanted to find, where are you, Mr. Truck? Here you are. Okay, so yeah, it seems as though he just filled himself up with a, a full load of electronics. So that is fine. I think um, to speed up this process, um, I'm gonna do one more covered haul and I'm gonna do the exact same style. I'm gonna do this one as well. Uh, just to speed up the process just a little bit because they do need to bring in quite a bit of stuff. And I don't want to run out, right? So, um, one other thing that I did previous to starting this episode is I did actually lay out a bit more gravel. I kind of wanted to just play around with it a little bit and see how it works. And I do, I do quite like it. I, I think it kind of adds that little extra level uh, to the uh, to what's kind of going on. And um, I really did. I was uh, messing around. I really. I really like this view, um, if I can remember how to go down, yeah, down, but I, I really liked this view, uh, I thought it was a really nice view, so I, uh, whoa, I ended up putting, uh, taking a picture, but I really liked this view, and I just wanted to share it with everybody and kind of give my thoughts and, you know, why I liked it, but just very much gives, like, that small town vibe with the mountain in the background and everyone just working away, so, uh, just wanted to share that, I think that might be used as a thumbnail, so, you get a kind of behind the behind the reason for the thumbnail story and it was just because it was a, a very nice photo um, really there's no other reason to it other than that it just looked like a good good photo and um it reminded me of kind of that small town feel with the the mountain in the background so anyways that is why and it looks like we are really starting to wrap up a lot of things and it looks as well like primarily our backlog is being these dumpers like they fill up quickly right because they don't need much but the backlog is it's that they have to go kind of all the way out of town to come back into town so i'm a little bit tempted to put a storage here again just a temporary because most of our branching is this way let me get rid of it so if we do a temporary storage here that will allow the trucks not to have to go all the way. They can kind of just go here and, and back in. And that, that should speed up a lot of things. And those big dumpers can, you know, do it in about four loads. So let's get one more aggregate storage down as the technical university just finishes just right to my <laughs> right to my left. So let's get one more aggregate and then let's just tell it to store gravel and nothing else. And then we can tell the distribution office to fill it with gravel so they should uh they should head out now and go get some gravel please oh because you're unloading i want you to unload gravel keep it at let's say 80 percent. what's the other one set at 70 yeah sure 70 works for me as well so yeah these trucks will uh they'll head off what are you grabbing oh asphalt okay it's like what are you grabbing but it's just grabbing some asphalt. Okay, cool. So yeah, these, I don't know why the second truck isn't heading out, but this truck is, and that's 25 tons. That'll be dropped off here. 
It needs to make about four trips, but yeah, that's not a big issue. And then where are these dumpers that I have? I know I purchased dumpers. Oh yeah, two of them are there and then another there. So once, once this gets a little bit filled, I should just wreck my, I don't think so. And if it does, whatever, it's at 90, whatever, I can just treat it. I'm, I'm already treating it anyway, so. Um, once the gravel gets brought over here, I can then change at least these to start using this gravel pit. Honestly, I think I might just tell all to use this gravel pit and get rid of this one, um, which is kind of a shame because this is this is what was in the way of just kind of running a straight line in <laughs> where I had to go whoop, 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 whoop. Um, but th that's fine. So, all right. Um, yeah, because I think, well, these people are just waiting on the, the groundwork to be done and it just doesn't have anything there. Uh, again, the groundwork. Um, pouring concrete. Okay, they need just people. Groundwork. Laying brick. Where are you off to? Oh, mechanical components. Okay. So yeah, everything looks like it's kind of wrapping up nicely and it's, it's starting to be getting underway to look like it's going to be uh, finishing. So it's always great. Uh, we have a couple outstanding projects. Yeah, way it is, right? So, all right. Well, what we need to do is really not much <laughs> because uh, we kind of have to wait on things to start finishing and then we can get people involved and we can start doing some exports. But we do need to make sure that this republic is a successful republic. Right, because the last one wasn't. Um, yeah, we, we wanna we wanna start setting up some oil, but like again, I don't I don't know where oil is, and I'm not gonna do the cheaty way of doing it. So it's very much a bit of a waiting game on certain certain different aspects. So I am going to make just a, a quick jump cut like we did in season one, where um, I kind of let things build up, and then when a kind of key thing arrives where I want to talk about and discuss what's going on and the planning behind it, then I'll be right back with everybody. And actually, this truck just dropped off, so I will actually quickly while everyone's here is I'm going to change the gravel for these guys just like that yeah because we have dump dump trucks waiting because there's just there's no need anymore and uh these guys are grabbing everything from the border which which is fine i mean it just it takes a bit longer for them to get there but i want to make a jump cut i'll be right back with everybody in a minute well the fire station has uh i haven't really done too much i just placed down some again some gravel paths um actually i might Set up some gravel like that. Uh, but anyways, the fire station has actually went up. So I wanted to uh, show that. Yeah, we're going to we're going to purchase some stuff. So I'm going to purchase a big uh, fire truck and then also just a, a small one. I think, you know, great. That would be perfect. Don't really need to purchase anything else um, other than that. So, yeah, it's just very much just kind of doing the small things um, and just continuing to ensure that um, we're just slowly, uh, before anybody moves in, just making sure that all these gravel paths are, are down and in. Uh, so that when people do move in, we're not trying to place all this gravel around them. But it is official. We have hit the first winter of the season in November 24th, 1960. So that's great. That's awesome. Um, you know, not great for productivity because everything, as you can see, kind of slows down to an absolute screeching halt. But it is a good, um, it is good for the series that we're we're advancing and pushing our way through to a uh, exciting next point. So, I think while we're waiting for everything uh, to continue growing and developing and building, uh, what I wanted to do in this backside here, because very much the the housing here, um, you know, it temporarily is going to be kind of uh, immigrant housing, uh, but it'll very quickly move to not being immigrant housing just because then the people once they're done in school they'll be still living there so what i wanted to do because it's know about 180 i think what would be just kind of really great uh this requires 80 tons of but it, it can fit 150 like literally i just need one of these i just need one building of these and that would completely fill my school so uh if i did one of these right and then maybe only half, well, if I'm only gonna half capacity it, do I really want a big building like this? 
I was thinking maybe we could do that. I mean, this is 110. We could do another one of these buildings and kind of do it here. Because then that would allow me to at least get immigrants piling in. I'm actually going to I'm grab and bring a road down like this as well. Uh, and then we'll place in... Yeah, I'm just going to do this one just because I don't need... I don't need that many uh, workers. So we will place it... Or students. So... We'll place it there. I think that's great. Uh, I think we only need the one. I don't think we're going to need the two. I think that might just be a little bit of overkill. And then this would still probably be fine. We have another one over there. So yeah, I don't think we need to add any more waste disposaling. Cool. So actually this is... Why are you... Okay. Now you're... Now they're off. Okay, cool. <laughs> Up and operational. Awesome. Okay. So that's going to be kind of like we're uh, we we're going to store some of the immigrants that come in. Um, I, I still am not sure if if police is very necessary early on. Um, so I'm probably not going to add it still yet. I know the television station is probably fairly needed earlier, but uh, again, not something that I'm going to add very quickly. Um, just kind of want to make sure that we're we're saving. We're saving up because we are hitting that point where we're starting to get down there in funds and it would be more beneficial if we could um, increase our uh, spending. Because right now we're only spending last year, uh, November, last month was 83000 but that's also with importing vehicles. But like our imports were $67,000. So like it would be great if we could offset some of that cost like take away our foreign manpower which we're still going to need to have foreign manpower or whatever but then we could at least alleviate the 67,000 from our budget and then we don't have to really fully pay all that right so these electronics are in which was a huge deficit I mean that was $10,000 of, of what we had to spend because that's how much it costs for them right so um and a lot of this very much is just finishing up just finishing up lame bricks so it's uh, a lot of it is just needing needing cranes where are our cranes are they still no they're they're off doing stuff so I'm kind of tempted to get two more cranes but at the same time I'm not tempted to get two more cuz we only have two cranes and I don't even know let's actually let's actually check with the overlays where are our road cranes road cranes there's a road crane here and a road crane there so they're both off and doing stuff you're going here where are you going i think this episode is going to be a lot more of just kind of watching the see and then um the next episode after this one is very much going to be like okay we've we watched and see we see what they're doing now we can start placing some more things down because the wear and tear on these trucks is super low like we don't really have to worry Wait, we have three? Do we have four? Do we have four? Give me a four. I didn't even know we had three cranes. I thought we only had two. Okay, let's just get one more crane. Then. I really only thought we had two cranes. I didn't think we had three. Uh, let's let's just get a fourth. I think whatever. Yeah, that'll be fine. And then we can... Um, yeah, then that'll just increase our capacity. All right, perfect. That, uh, that works out good for me then. I thought, yeah, again, I thought we only had two. So four is good. I only really wanted to go up to four, so I think this is fine. Um, I wonder if we should just put a walkway out here because it's not really going to affect anything other than um, our um, construction vehicles can be able just to kind of bypass and go in. So it's not really going to affect anything else. So yeah, I'll, I'll put it up and in. That's fine. Um, a lot of these are almost completed. So we're hitting to a good point. Hey, gas station's done. Nice. It's uh, without power supply though, so I don't think we can actually. I don't think we can actually put gas in it currently. Um, building. Brave, Oslav gas. Brave Oslav gas. Nice. I do like this feature of the game where you can actually add like um, the the text above it. I, I think it's a really cool feature. <laughs> Uh, it just adds a little extra to the game, right? That you would normally not have. So 
I think it's absolutely wonderful. Awesome. Okay. Well, yeah. So again, it's, you know, Chris, it's uh, Christmas time. No, it's winter time. And uh, we're really not too far into the game. Uh, we have to figure out the gravel situation in a little bit. Um, I know there was... I mean, we can't see anything, but over here is also gravel too. So if we did expand out this way, we could start to utilize the gravel situation that is around us. But I do feel like this is also where some coal is going to be uh, once we figure that out. But let's get... Let's get that queued up just because I know that's going to be what we're going to want. And then, yeah, we just need to wait. So this requires 30 staff. We don't need 30 staff. I think probably this would be fine because that is now... Actually, if we did that, that is 30 and that is 15. And we're already here. We need 15. And we need 15. Yeah, so, and then here's 25, so 75. Uh, you know, it all it all adds up fairly quickly. So this is 30, and then this is, um, we just go 6, 12, 18, add three more, 21. It's 21, so, I mean, everything adds up quickly. I think we will have a, what my plan is, is to fill all of these houses in here with experts which i think we need i think the only buildings that require it we do not need 27 fireworks or fireworks firemen i think the only buildings that actually need educated workers is the clinic actually we can actually see here because it is winter um we can actually take a better look at building and heat water tank. so zero and then interior like they're freezing to death because there's just nothing right there's no there's no heat in these water tanks so um we were chatting about yeah how many educated workers we need so we do need about 5 10 15 and then i'm going to lower this to uh, yeah 10 to 15 30 uh 45 see wow it adds up quick man um we definitely crucially need this staff we don't need this staffed I... no okay so five that needs to be staffed this kind of needs to be staffed yeah, so 30, 45, 4, 5, 75, 80, 85, 90. Do we really need 90 though? Can I get away with like, get away with like 60? Because like if I need 60 of them, that's... By sixty. What's what's uh what's uh what's sixty times five? Sixty times five. So if it was sixty times, let's just say five thousand. That's three hundred thousand dollars just for experts. I mean that is crazy, no? So what if we did two? Right? Granted, I mean, it's kind of horrible. But then at least from the school, they can educate the workers. So we don't have to buy in so many. We can just buy doctors and not have to spend all of our friggin' money just on spending on doctors alone or, you know, educated workers alone. We don't have to, like, waste all of our cash. I think that's probably our best bet instead of just like completely dumping out cash and being like, uh, where'd all of our cash go, right? So I'm gonna do that instead. And we can almost turn power on. <laughs> it's uh, it's definitely taking that, uh, taking that good old sweet time. So uh, again, I'm gonna make a quick jump to kind of where I make a decision on what we wanna do next or if there's some type of milestone marker that uh, that comes up. Because uh, right now it very much well is just a lot of kind of the waiting game. 
Um, I wonder if actually they're going to be able to complete this. Oh yeah, they are. Wow. Okay, here comes a building. I think I think they should be able to complete it. Yeah, they're only used half their time, and this is the great reason for cranes. I mean, they throw things up like nobody's business. And then with that being done, we can easily add in the gravel, right? Which we're still looking to kind of finish some more stuff so we can throw more. Actually, all no, not all of this is done because they still need to go in here. Okay. Yeah, most of it's um, <clears throat> getting up and operational. Can't really see because the, the snow's on the ground. But I'm going to make a quick jump cut and I'll be right back with everyone. Something that I necessarily didn't want to do early on. Uh, but I think would be probably very beneficial to have um, is the police station. I didn't think that I would want it early. Um, but even just doing this small police station, I think would be beneficial. Um, it does take 10 workers that are educated, highly educated. But I think that we could probably get away with just doing like two. <laughs> two or three to start out with um and if it does get too crucial bad like we one of the things that does need to always be filled up are our doctors that's something that cannot go without is we need to have doctors so i think what we'll do is we'll just set up a small police station so that we can fight crime but we're not going to really ensure that it's stacked out and I don't want to fill up here because, again, I want to leave this open for more of our construction stuff. And I really hope that the winter would have went away before I needed to really start this project. But granted, not the case. <laughs> That's OK. Um, and I think actually what I'm going to do uh, in here is I'm going to I'm going to build a roundabout because I feel that roundabouts really give uh, a lot of kind of leeway and flexibility when it comes to when you need to upgrade roads. So I'm going to do a roundabout here. Um, I think I'm a little off for how I need to put it, whatever. It's close enough. <laughs> uh, so one, two, and then we'll get rid of this guy. And then I think we can run. Can I? No, okay. Um, actually, I don't really like how it's like that. Oh, and that's not what I wanted. Uh, so we'll run this back straight. Maybe if I just do a road across and just do it like having two roads going in. So if like I did this, ran this in, and then I did like something like this. Right, like so. I mean, that's... A little ugly, <laughs> but uh, it'll get the job done. And then what I think, because this is going to definitely be planned for the future. So I think what I want here is. Mm, yeah, but if I do, but if, ah, but if I just do a roundabout, I think it would be. I'm not even selecting that part. It's just like, no, we're deleting it. Um, I definitely, I think I definitely need a roundabout here. So think about here because what I want to do is I want to set this up like so get rid of push that back yeah this is a lot better so that would be set up like that right and then what I want to have is a two lane road so that we can have a two-way road and then we can make an additional connection I think around here so I'm just gonna delete it back and then what we'll do is we will add again another roundabout we'll make this one just a little bit bigger we'll make it 60 and we'll delete that and then we'll add it like so and we'll add this one in first so we can get rid of that and then this one will come like so and then that will allow us to actually run another road in like so and now this gives us actually another way in 
to this small village. Uh, and this will also allow us to upgrade roads because now they can come around and they can come back in. And then this also gives us a way to bring potentially a one road, but more likely a two road out. Uh, and then we don't really have to fully worry about what's happening in terms of construction purposes, right? Because um, what I don't want to have to worry about is like, can we do construction here? Or is it going to, everything is going to get in the way or, you know, what's kind of going to happen. So, and I think it looks like finally winter is breaking. I think we're getting to two degrees Celsius. I think the winter is finally going away. So that, um, that makes me happy because our snow plows really didn't do absolutely anything. <laughs> if I'm totally honest, they really, they, they really weren't doing anything. It was more of them just kind of doing the same road and, and that was really it. So <clears throat> it looks like a lot of the process now is just waiting on installation. So it's just a lot of manpower problems and I can't really fix manpower problems when like, you know, 61 are spawned here. But once this bus gets in here, it's down to 28. And then when the other bus arrives, wherever the... Where is that other bus? Right, because the other bus is in here. That's that bus. Where's this bus? Oh, here you are. Yeah, so he'll get the other amount. And that's 34, and he should take all of them. So there's, like, really no point of adding more buses. We just... It is just there's just no point. It's just we wouldn't be able to maintain it. But the winter's now going to soon break. February, March, I mean, hopefully break soon because then we can easily start transporting more. And he only took eight. Why'd you only take eight? Now that doesn't make any sense. I figured you would have took a lot more. Because you took 38 or 40 and you're going to this location. Yeah, that doesn't make too much sense now, does it? Anyways, whatever, it is what it is. So. <clears throat> for placing any type of buildings out here yeah definitely we are very much too far away so they would not reach there so we would have to either put another bus stop in here because if we take the measuring tool so probably the fastest way would be right roughly here and then Oh, wow, they still have a shift, so they're going somewhere else. Wait. Ah. Oh, I forgot to click that button. What do we have? 77 workers. <laughs> I didn't... Oh, no. Okay, well... Um... I was like, oh, cool. They're doing some more work. No, it's just you forgot to click a button. And somebody in the comments previously told me, make sure to click this button off so that you don't have this issue. And I didn't do that. So I guess now we're going to see, can we maintain? Uh, let's also add this because now um, we can and we'll just unload to 60% neat. Yeah, okay. Um... Yeah, we're without power, and that's just due to the fact that I, I, <laughs> I can't even hook up power. Um, so yeah, these these 103 that just spawned in because I forgot to click a single button are probably going to die. Um, we don't even have any doctors. So it is what it is. I mean, I can't really fix it <laughs> uh, once, they, once they die. So... So far, our, um, our economy is not looking great. I mean, they're, they're probably going to die off, and that's going to be the first uh, first 103 citizens that we ever had are now dead. Anyways, but what we were trying to do before these citizens rudely interrupted me was we're trying to calculate out this. So if that's there, that's to there, right? So that's, yeah, that's 244. If we go out here, yeah, so we can add in here. We just, everything needs to be gravel, um, which, you know, Whatever. We can do that. Um, yeah, because, I mean, it's starting to heat up, but now, look, a cold snap's going to hit, and there's no heat anywhere. Um, so all these people should probably begin to die. Not intentionally. 
uh, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, that's just, I guess, the way it's going to be. Yeah, immigrant invitation. They brought in $32,000 worth of immigrants. And it just, I didn't have any control because I forgot to click a button. <laughs> oh, man. And this isn't even getting done. Uh, I could probably save a few of them if I could turn on the friggin' power. Anybody up and over here? No. Okay, well, uh, because again, we, we have uh, additional things that we need to figure out. Like, this can store a maximum of seven, so we need about um, a vehicle, like a bus, that can take them back and forth so that we can actually get them out here, but currently we just, we can't. Um, yeah, their happiness is going to be low. I don't know what to tell you. They're probably going to all start dying, too, because... It's cold, man. Yeah, here comes back the winter. It's going to tank the, the, the temperature. I'm complaining. Okay, anyways, sorry. <laughs> uh, what we need to look at is the road offices here as well. So we can get road vehicle, which this store is A, but I think we're just going to do the free one temporarily. Uh, we will have to look at upgrading. But for right now, what we want, because we only need to send about... Um, hmm. Not too many. So if we look at the buses, like this is seven, 52, that's too much, it's eight. So I think the best bus we can do is set over an eight bus. And this bus is not doing that large of a trip. So really we only need one because it's just kind of bouncing back and forth, which is great. I would honestly be surprised if these citizens survive. Cause like we don't even have doctors. Cause we're currently Currently, where is all of our worker, like, work population going? I don't even know. Can't even tell you. Yeah, number of passengers waiting. A bunch. There's teachers. Yeah, so... Either they're going to start escaping or they're going to start dying, one or the other. And then we can just be back to zero. I think that's kind of the only way we can really uh, go about it. So, I'm going to set this up. Um, start getting the... At least get the gravel gravel in the town underway so that we don't have to do it later. A lot of these are going to have to just be done by hand. That's fine. Uh, and they'll have to ship in all the gravel. But again, that's fine. I mean, they can go grab the gravel from there and bring it into the town. So, um, yeah, they can fill them in from back there. This is just going to have to temporarily be stopped. I think that's fine. Set that up. Uh, we'll set that up as well. We'll leave that so that they can at least get out. And then we're going to also set this to need to be constructed as well. So we'll do that for right now. And then eventually we'll start focusing on more down the road. Yeah, everyone's, everyone's leaving. They just... I know we get close. I mean, we, you just can't survive off of 75. There's just not enough people. So, um, unfortunate, but it, it is what it is. I mean, we can't really control it. So, um, why? Oh, I think I have to. I guess I have active construction, but I think what I have to do is I have to go like that. There. Now they should all start rolling out. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. Okay. So they're going to be underway. They're going to start building. That's kind of what we want. Um, this can also get underway for that. And then once that is finished, we can then kind of just upgrade all of this kind of all at once. Yeah, that's, uh, it's looking good. I think I'm also going to upgrade this right away. And then we can take my new favorite tool <laughs> and, uh, paint this all in. do that yeah okay and then we can look to like so missed a piece there we go okay cool awesome what is this oh that's a gravel patch okay and we'll take here and we will go back and select an ad okay cool so yeah that's gonna be underway um yeah we're we're definitely Definitely losing people. They just can't go to work or anything. So I, I didn't want to bring people in, but this was set to uh, 
it was set to bring people in. I don't know if it's going to now always be set to bring people in or if it was kind of just a one-time thing. Um, I don't know if allowing citizens to move in is kind of a detriment. I think that's probably fine. Okay, yeah, so everything's moving and underway. The trucks are definitely taking from where they need to. They're going to continue to do that. We do actually have heating correctly hooked up this season. That is definitely a bonus. <laughs> so that will work in our favor. Um, probably, I don't know if March of this year or if March of next year will be bringing in uh, some citizens, but I don't know what kind of... The full goal is, but we do have a lot of excavators just kind of sitting around, not really having anything to do. Oh, so these need to finish that, and then... So I wonder if you can load up, but yes, yeah, so something else. This has a chemical storage of two, and they only need that, so... Another thing I'm going to tell them to do, because this is not going to take away from them much, is I'm gonna tell them to load chemicals and just unload, and I'm gonna tell them to keep it at 100. Because I, it's not really, actually not 100, because if I keep it at 100, they're gonna keep wanting to go. So we'll keep it at 90. Uh, so he'll just kind of, trucks will go back and forth to fill this up, and that's, that's perfectly fine. Uh, so they can pull, not sure why. You're supposed to load alcohol. Oh, I told you not unload alcohol. Road connection doesn't exist. Okay. And yeah, so you're, you're told to load alcohol, but you weren't told to unload it. Does that truck up here have alcohol on it then? No. It just has the chemicals. Okay, perfect. Whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, so as these roads quickly finish, that'll be great. Uh, and I'm going to make a quick jump cut to just do double check the time on the episode and also to uh, just kind of come back when some more things are finished and we have some uh, more entertaining things to talk about. So I will be right back. There is great news in the Republic today. We have officially been hooked up to power. That means that everything in here should now very much have power. And there's still five people holding on for dear life. I, I'm 1% happiness. I'm not sure where these five people are located or what they're up to. But they're hanging on. Apparently he's working somewhere. Uh... I, uh, where are you? You're working inside. I, where are you working? I really don't know where you're working, but apparently you're working somewhere. Anyway, so, yes, uh, that being said, we have power. We also have a lot of these roads being worked on. So what I want to do is I also want to tell these distribution offices that now they can also hook up, um gas to that building currently just that one because there's no way that they can uh, get to the other one but i want them to also be bringing gas to fill up the internal tanks and then also to fill up this gas station so we can start getting rid of um get rid of this gas station i'm going to tell them to stop delivering there uh hopefully these last four citizens kind of um unfortunately bite the dust but bite the dust because we need them gone uh, so that we can restart back at the uh, zero zero with no unemployment. Yeah, because right now it's 100% unemployment. Um, and three of them are due to being sick. <laughs> uh, oh, well, it, it'll go back to normal. So that's great. Um, yeah, all of this is still stored up. The meat. Oh, wow. I was actually important meat and I was just continuously um, <laughs> setting it to be destroyed because we didn't have it actually um, set correctly. So. Let's get a refrigeration. I really don't want to get another one, but it's kind of like we we have to, right? Because this can only store one ton, and this needs 75 tons, and there's no smaller refrigeration trucks. Um, <laughs> yeah, whatever. So we're just going to do that, and then what we can do with this one, actually, is we can set it to... Um, distribute amongst the uh, the different shopping centers that we're gonna have uh, I can distribute amongst them so it's gonna be kind of a current current waste but long term 
uh, it's definitely going to be very beneficial. So let's finish. I know it's like uh, constantly. Um, now it's just a bunch of upgrading. But with this being upgraded, things should begin to move a little bit faster. Correct, hopefully. Uh, that's still being constructed. A lot of things just need gravel and all of our trucks are out doing that. So that's perfect. Uh, all of that's good. And then, yeah, we'll... I know it needs developing, but we'll just do that and then we'll connect this. We'll just kind of finish all of this up. Yeah, I think this is all fine. We'll just... I think I finish everything else a little bit later. I think that's... Uh, not a huge deal, so gravel, gravel, and then we'll make this gravel, and then we'll also make this gravel. Cool, and then we'll just, again, sign to make sure that they're continuously working, because uh, they should be continuously working. There should be no reason why we're, we're not, right? So, and these also just need... These locations here, all the gravels on site, we just need to have more vehicles moving. What I think I actually might do too is I might tell, because we do have a good stock, but oh, actually it drops now. It's still at the situation I remember it at last. So never mind. I was going to say that we could drop some off at of Gary Station, but it's, it's just going to be the same exact issue as previous where there's just no reason we can't pull enough workers, right? So. Um, it'll just take time, but it definitely will, um, over time get finished. We just have to bring workers in to actually do it. And that's okay. That's okay with me. So, <clears throat> slowly but surely. And this is actually pumping in water, uh, but it's not actually, I think the pipes are done. Yeah, it's just the pumping station. So this is bringing water in at 93% quality, and then we'll send it out at 99 uh, which is perfect. Yeah, and then this is another pumping station that goes to a substation. So yeah, it's all perfect. Just a couple more kind of loose ends to wrap up. Um, and then what I want to do, and I feel like I have all these like good ideas of like what we should build, what we should build. Oh, and we're back down to zero. What we should build here, there, this, we need that, we need this. But like one thing I want to make sure is that like the city that I'm building currently with the, you know, the 500 that I'm trying to bring in, that we're, you know, able to be self-sufficient and I'm not going to run into any issues. I don't like how this, I don't like this here. I'm going to remove, I'm going to remove this. Uh, I just, I don't like, I want to put this one back. Actually, let me, hold on. Let me remove all of this real quick. I want to have, I do like how Gary Station was like so I did enjoy I did enjoy that so we'll do that and then this needs to be oh I wish it didn't snap like that <laughs> okay well that can be like that and then we'll do this like so I like that I do like how Gary station like that and I also did like this one having gravel so I'll put that back as well like so I liked that but then I didn't really like it in here to be totally honest so I'm gonna leave this open um, so we don't have that and then what I might do is put trees amongst here but currently we do have to kind of build everything up so um, no point putting it in now yeah, everything's just kind of slowly finishing. But like I was saying, is like we have all these plans, um, but just wait until everything's self-sufficient before we actually kind of um, pounce on those plans. Because the next thing I want to do is I want to get a coal plant up and operational. Once we know where coal is, uh, I want to get that up and operational so that we can actually start making our own power. So we're not always constantly having to do, do all that. And I would also like to start setting up a train station. Uh, that is another thing that we'd like to get set up so that we can uh, take these Take this wood Set it to a storage location So we're just kind of bouncing quickly back and forth and then the train can kind of continuously take it out of the city And uh, as we have this construction area build up. I'm not really liking where it is, but 
Uh, it's like at that point where it's like, oh, like that's kind of where it's going to be right now because that's that's just how it's going to have to be. So, um, but yeah, as as these projects continue to wrap up, it's a, another situation I feel where it's just a little bit of an awkward kind of uh, waiting game. But um, is what it is. I don't know why we don't have a mechanism over here. Uh, it's just due to the fact that there's really not much. Like, I feel that they should be over here. I just don't know why there's not one over here. Because this would speed it up significantly, no? It just needs bricks. Bricks, boards, and steel. Probably because it just was on a different layer. I don't know. I have no idea why they're not over there kind of helping that project out, but... It is what it is, right? So, okay. Well... Um, again, I'm going to do another quick little jump just to um, get us a little bit more fast forward so that we're not constantly kind of watching the paint dry. So I'll be right back with everyone again. I think this might have to be just kind of like m my favorite sound. <laughs> I don't know why. I just I, I kind of like it. Wait, you can build on top of this. What? Oh, no way. Okay. Um, brave Oslav. Right when you come into the city, you can take witness of Brave Oslav. It's like a city entrance sign. That's kind of cool. I know also here you can do like, uh, uh, it's, um, there's a, there's a way to place a city, place road sign entrance to city. Yeah. You can do like here. The area is not defined correctly. Huh? Why is it not defined correctly? This might be something that we can, uh, maybe somebody can kind of tell me how this, this works. Like, do I have to say like there and then, oh, I can't do it over there. Do I have to do like here? I don't know, maybe somebody tell me how those, these signs work. I have no idea. So, somebody maybe could uh, fill me in. That'd be awesome. Anyways, so, uh, with that being said, I also did plant some trees. I kind of wanted to see how the trees would look. I don't know if there's a quick way to get rid of trees. Yes, remove trees. There is a quick way. I want to see what they would look like if they grow, grow and get bigger and, you know, kind of, you know, what's, what would they look like? Uh, oh wow okay we can kind of remove i don't i didn't like the trees that were here so let's yeah you know perfect okay that looks good bravo slob is uh finally has power finally has deliveries going on oh right that's what i wanted to set um so i need to take here and i also want you to deliver there deliver there uh deliver there i think that was that was it yeah okay because you have a pow you have fuel storage you have fuel you don't have one i didn't set you up and then yeah okay and then you have fuel so now with this refrigeration vehicle i need to set you from going here to there so here you're going to load um load 60 percent of meat i guess anything and then actually what we could do is load you at a hundred percent and then what we could tell you to do is wait till unloaded here and then you wouldn't bounce back and forth like 600 times you just kind of wait because you're gonna have six tons of meat in you in your storage yeah so i think that's fine and then you're set up to only storing 60 percent and this is stored at 90 so we're ready for purification yeah so you will grab meat and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna drive over here. And now you're just pretty much gonna wait. Yeah, that works perfect actually, because then you'll just have a good storage. Um, and actually here, I want 50, 40, and 10. Yeah, just like that. Actually, maybe, yeah, it could be 15. Um, what if we did 45, 40, what does it give me left? 15? Yeah, 15. Um, yeah, I think that's better because more food, more clothes. Yeah, that works out for me. That works good. Okay. 
I like how they brought in electronics first of everything else that was probably needed more crucially. Whatever. It is what it is. Um, and this is not upgraded. And okay, you're actually, that's where you're sending them to. And I was watching. So this is going to get up and operational. That's great. We have gravel roads through and through. Uh, just a couple left over. Which is great. And then now we can actually build this to a gravel road as well. So everything is looking very, very good. Uh, very promising. And I'm feeling a lot more successful and a lot more like, hey, I think we can pull it off, right? Because we got a lot more built uh, this time around. Barely into the game. Really don't have a lot of money spent and used. So I feel that we have a lot more longevity behind us. There's just a couple places that still need finishing up. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's feeling a lot better. I personally, I'm not really a, f and I'm going to talk a bit, a little bit about, uh, the recording, the back-to-back -back recordings that we just did for this episode. I'm really not a fan of this back-to-back -back recording. I feel though, like with the back-to-back -back recording, maybe it'd be better if I had like a lot going on in the city but like when i had the opportunity to take the break for the day and then come back to doing recording it almost feels that i had time to think about like you know okay what do i want to do where do i want to implement something do i want it here do i want it there so it gave me a bit more of an opportunity and uh it was it was definitely a lot nicer so i think i might just kind of stick to the once a day i record and then i send it out type scheduling uh because I, I definitely did uh really enjoy that a lot more but um, I do believe we have a little bit left of this episode, so we'll keep on chugging away, looking at kind of things that we can increase. Um, but it does look like really what we're waiting on is a little bit... This pump is on. Target storage is full. Yes, yeah, so we're waiting on this uh, tank to be done, that to be done. Uh, the sewage tank needs to be done. Oh no. Uh, huh. Hold on. Fire, fire. <laughs> Why did it not warn me? Oh, it did warn me. I'm just very distracted. Um, so yeah, we can actually manually send out a fire truck. Go on, go get the fire. Yeah, so we actually don't need workers because we can manually set out these fire trucks. I don't know why in the first year I'm having a fire though actually kind of crazy normally it's you, you don't get a fire right away not enough firefighters for all vehicles okay the last fire that happened it got it got burnt out <laughs> that i had oh no how do i get the worst of lucks in a series yeah okay <laughs> Bravo Slav is burning down. That is actually so crazy. So I don't know if this building will just completely and utterly now fall down and just be a pile of rubble uh, or what really happens after a fire. So I guess we're all going to kind of experience what happens after a fire in workers and resources because apparently um Oh no, did it crush my fire trucks? No! Did it actually crush my fire trucks? No way, it actually crushed my fire trucks too. I should have sent them home. Oh no, okay, well. I, pff, dude, that actually really sucks, I guess. Man, like right away too. There was a fire. Jeez, how cru how how cr how horrible. Um, <laughs> I mean, what are you what are you gonna do, right? Let's kind of laugh it off and shrug it off. Okay. Well, let me uh, take a quick uh, quick cut. Um, let me just recompose after that, and uh, let me see where the episode's at. I'll be right back. It seems as though that we have just a little bit left of the episode, about five to ten minutes, so that is great. Um, we're going to have to get a demolition office up and running it at one point. I, I don't think I'm going to deal with it right now. 
Uh, it's not really affecting anything. It <laughs> oh, it's just the luck that we have is so unlucky, isn't it? Um, that, that that would be the case. That something would catch fire and would burn itself down. That's just unbelievable. But what can you do? Well, there's 118 workers waiting there. I'm honestly just kind of tempted to send this little guy. Change his workstation temporarily. Yeah, I'm actually going to do that. You go there. Go grab me some people. Go bring in some people into town. Go do something. Don't just sit. Because 105 is actually quite good. Um, and if he's only getting 39, there's going to be a lot of extra space. So actually, I'm going to do... I'm going to purchase one more micro bus. Uh, the eight passenger one, please. Yeah, okay. Boom. Just so I have them. And then um, they can also grab some workers and take them to construction sites. Because we, we need a bunch of, like, small amount of people everywhere. So that would be kind of, uh, kind of great if they can all just kind of go in a location. And additionally, I have a lot of stuff sitting around. So I think I want to start this. Yeah. And I won't... I can't fill it all the way in because they still need to get out. So I'll start doing that. Uh, schedule it out so people start going. Come on. Stop being so lazy. All right, that works perfect. So now we have some micro buses coming in with people. And it's like that micro bus right here, three work days, easily done. This one's done. This one's done. So we'll have two micro buses doing that to help speed up the process a little bit. Um, and then hopefully we can get um, everything up and operational so that uh, if we have another fire, we can at least deal with it instead of what we had to do and just watch it burn down. And then not knowing that. If it burns down and we don't get our stuff out of the way, it will burn down and it will completely collapse and onto our fire trucks and everything like that. So uh, let's get two waste trucks and then let's get uh, two micro buses. That'll be fine. And then, and then they can at least start taking down this building. I said I was going to do it later, but we'll just do it right now. Okay. Uh, another thing that will be needed is a dump. Uh, we will be needing to place... Um, our garbage from what's coming from the city and actually placed it somewhere. And I think a great location is actually probably just behind the coal plant or not the coal plant, sorry, the heating plant. Uh, Cause I don't think much can really happen behind it. It's more or less kind of happening on this wrap of the hill. So um, if we can, I believe, yeah, it's in waste. And then do I want a dump with claw? Cause then we can export, right? Uh, this is 350 tons, this is 130 tons. What's the free one? 140, 270. What does it require to build? 10 tons, 14 tons. How big is it? Oh, wow, you are quite big, aren't you? But this helps us load, and then we can export. And I think this is probably... I'm going to give it... Mm, I guess I was going to give it some more space. I think in here is fine. Uh, and then this could be our dump, and then we could also take it to be able to export everything that's coming in. Um, or do I just want to want to do a medium dump? Maybe just a medium dump, actually. Or just want to do a free dump. You know, I don't have much experience with the dumps. I'm just going to do a free dump because then we can just kind of get rid of it later once we don't need it. Uh, we'll put it right there okay and then i think we can still run yeah we can still run a road behind and we can finish running this ahead and then and, and, and. okay perfect all right so now that will be our dump so we can set we can set that there and then that there and that there okay so he'll start grabbing some trash because actually with those people that accidentally came into our facility, um, we had some, I guess we would have had some trash build up, right? So where is trash waste? Yeah, 8%, 90%, 39%. Yeah, we had trash being built up, like hazardous waste. Like we don't have a large storage for hazardous waste, right? Um, so yeah, we, uh, yeah. They would have started piling up here, you know, some waste, but, um, we sh 
they should be filling up waste in here as well. I think it might just be because we don't have the roads done up, but uh, nonetheless, what a what a very exciting way to kind of wrap up an episode of having a complete and utter catastrophe of having a fire roll through. We weren't even set up to kind of have the fire. I do like how the pipes, like if you're playing soccer or football or whatever you want to call it, if you're playing, you're running into these pipes. Like they're just barely off the sidelines. Oh my goodness. Alrighty. Well, I think that will do for, I believe this is episode four or five. I think it's four of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Um, if you like the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment even if it is for just the sake of engagement i do like to communicate with all of you and kind of um while you're watching the journey have a conversation about the journey and how you're liking it i think in the next episode we will take a look at bringing in the citizens uh, we'll also take a look at kind of what will be our way to alleviate even more uh exporting or importing and uh bring more exports and then we'll also take a look at what does it cost us to do a coal coal plant and uh, be able to kind of go from there. So thank you everyone again, and I will see you on the next one.